Maybe I'll join. join. I'll join. Move. Yeah, yeah. Hop on I'll, that train. I'll get on this. I'll get on this MVP fun ride. Uh, I like it. They have. Okay. It, it, okay uh, what needs to happen for them to win? Rotating on mid. Even going for a courier snipe, maybe. No, back to the bottom lane. And Savage Raw is the big problem here. You've got to try and play and maneuver around it. And while this is happening, again, Fear's looking to make a move on mid. He's trying to set up. He's going to roll in simultaneously. They converge on Universe. They get the Hex off. It looks like two potential kills. QO, very low in the mid lane. One more auto attack. Oh, he lives! Barely! The boy that lived. The poor man shield saving his life. Didn't pop the fairy fire there. But that was damn close. Oh, Kiro knows what he's doing. <laughs> if he doesn't have to use his fairy fire, he won't. But nice little wraparound for MVP, securing the kill on Universe's lone druid. And good job there, down at the rune. So MVP getting a, a slight edge. They'll grab the. Early regen rune here for Fabian. They're gonna make another play on the bottom lane, but at the same time in the mid lane, QO is gonna get caught up. Pops the fairy fire. This time, EG will get the kill, and it looks like Universe is gonna scout out MVP's rotation. So back the other way we go. I've got down a very deep ward here in the bottom lane. Not a ward you'd expect at this stage of the game, so unlikely to be dewarded unless it's revealed through a surprise gank. And MVP really want to up the aggression. MP rushing the phase boots, not trying to get the earn anytime soon. He just wants that extra bit of mobility and kill potential down here. Even has maxed out, well, got three points in the Spectral Dagger by level five. Now they do see Universe, but the real question is, do they have any chance of killing him? Spectre has Haunt now, they can go for this, it looks like they're going to, they just got level 6 in MP, they move in! Surprise! But, not quite enough to get the kill, they want to get the Spear Bear and the hero! <laughs> Tried to get MP both. was going for the greed play, and it might have worked, but he decides to be safe. Gets the hero instead, while mid lane, roll forward, QO again, dodging away from these, the Siphon comes through, they do manage with the kick, to bring QO low. He's got the bottle charges though, but he can't juke Sumail. Another death here, not having his customary hot start. Yeah. The Ember has been squelched. And just taking advantage of the fact that Sumail- They'll look to take the Roshan oh, down. Spotted. There is a haunt available, but can they fight nice. into this pit? MVP of two heroes top. Sumail's here with the Exorcism. This is very risky. Maybe MVP just trying to snipe somebody. They do get a silence off onto QO, and he drops quickly in the river with the Exorcism. It's enough for a kill. EG also claiming the Aegis. They put it- Oh. On Arteezy. And QO not having a good game here. Something where they can fight into the Blink Mask of Madness. Level 11 Ursa with Aegis. is just in prime fighting condition right now. Seems like the ideal situation here for MVP. Just avoid fights yep, and try to split push. But PPD looks to slow it down. There's a remnant forward. They are going to catch up the Crystal Maiden Chains. Securing the last hit, QO will grab it. MP now using the dagger to get down low. And Arteezy stunned and controlled. He might lose his Aegis early. And not for much here, just one more imp would finish him off, but they don't find it. Meanwhile, QO, Remnant down. Actually didn't quite go to the low ground, so EG can easily catch him out, but he doesn't jump to it. Continues into the trees, but go for the TP out, and Universe says, screw it, man. Time to use that Midas. Worth the use it. of the finger to kill PPD. Probably not, because I think EG's actually going to look oh, to engage him. They do manage to get that beautiful entangle into Savage Roar combo, so Dubu just sits there taking the punishment, oh, tries oh, for the swap out, it ain't going to happen, but... And sure the core doesn't die. Yeah. And blinking, uh, keeping in mid lane, Debbie ready to uh, set up around the Ursa if possible. But. Cute play there by Arteezy, just using the minimal range blink to dodge away from an impetus. But it does mean he can't make a move here bottom. So, how do you feel if you're MVP? Really bad start. You know EG's very likely to get the next Roche, but you haven't been feeding. Yep. Well, until well. now, maybe. <laughs> or, uh, you jinxed it, I mean. There's oh. the stun, though. Maybe they can turn this. Vector Han comes in for him. Not dead, just hit the Earth. Just enough to take him down. Sumail, though, keeps himself alive, throwing himself up in the air, but they get the kill. They end the exorcism. They could look for more MVP. Dagger onto PPD and diving for this. Arteezy just TP bottom, so they know he can't come to the fight. That's their biggest damage dealer, not participating. MVP, great decision making there. Yeah. Make it five to seven. So many teams in that position would have just let their enchantress die and then just backed off and just said, okay, we're getting, let's farm Elter on the map. But MVP recognizing that Ursa can't rotate in. And on top of that, the burst damage from the line, the, the level four Earth Spike into Finger gets. Here, pops the early enrage. He does have a basher now. If he gets that lucky bash, can probably solo kill QO. But meanwhile, top lane, Dubu's about to get caught out. EG smoke for this. They roll in onto the bench. Silence, that's a mate, and he'll, he'll try, but he ain't getting out. He's playing that kind of pilot die roll that, that we used to see him on, where it's like, you're just up there, the MVP, their smoke pops in a very awkward oh, position. Oh, they might have to sacrifice Dubu again. again. Kick comes through. Fear, uh, not going to rolling boulder on that. 
Uh, run of Atel, so. Still, Dubu, Dubu like, slow down. Me. I don't know if there's a please in there. It's like, all right, you can have me. I ain't going anywhere anyway. Are we talking about the good stuff for MVP coming? Universe has just quietly been farming away in the jungle. He's one and two, but has Relic online himself. So he's on par with Spectre in terms of farm. Looking for his next victim, but meanwhile, top MVP about to get caught out. It looks like MP so close to his radiance. He's gonna get silenced. MP also silenced, can't save the Spectre. That will delay it by 300 gold, plus the lost farming time. Bebby also gonna go down here. A big grab for EG. Two crucial kills, and while that was happening in the mid lane, Arteezy found a third. That's almost just like high ground time in some ways. EG can keep on going through this mid lane. Universe has a second barrier. He's gonna resummon now. Oh, that's devastating. And if they don't get those kills, you're, you're looking at the Radiance coming up. EG not having the dead heroes to feel confident about a push, but it goes entirely the other way. MVP do not want to have to buy back on Spectre, not at this stage of the game. And QO is actually TP back and stops split pushing because of that. Just looking to delay with the Searing Chains and so far doing a decent enough job that they should at most lose a tier 3 tower and that's and, only if EG commits And it. even he's close to just because of how much EG's They're lineup. They're gonna fight here, they're moving in, they hunt and engage, they want to surprise EG. Fear rolls away, MP jumping in the middle of the EG lines and on the universe he's gonna go but Big Daddy Earth is coming, they lock down MP, there's the swap out, keep him in fighting shape, can they find the kills, blink forward, they do get the Hex and try to lock Arteezy down, control him for now, QO strike, strikes first, killing off the Crystal Maiden before him, locked in position, clawed apart by Arteezy. And with the buyback, it's gonna be a power play now for EG. Five on four, Haunt is down, crucially. That was... And they're going in. I think MVP did that because they knew there was no exorcism. It was 15 seconds away from coming up, and MVP, I think they timed it to the very second, which is the really impressive thing about that engagement, because they knew if EG reached their base with exorcism, they're gonna lose the rack. And now that's what's gonna happen, because the fight, unfortunately for MVP, they didn't get the kills, they couldn't bring down Sumail. He's just too tanky at this stage with the Soul Booster on top of the Yul's Atos. And... Oh, they do at least have the Battle Fury here though, so you can see the chip damage. Slowly but surely, QO trying to work these backline heroes down and force them out. They catch Arteezy, they're gonna look to lock him down, but he manages to get off the ultimate. Starts going to work with the Bashes, they'll crack the Aegis, but they've lost three. The other two scramble back towards the well, and this leaves EG to just beat the crap out of Arax. They'll grab the melee. They look now onto the ranged. MVP playing from a massive deficit. Yeah, absolutely. They're not done yet though, 4F. Just the one bear, but MVP don't have the tools to really easily bring it down unless they hard commit, and that's something QO's playing with our buyback, you can't afford to do. That's the problem, you buy this battle queue, you buy this radiance, you're like, all right, we took the high ground defend items, but you're up against exorcism, you have Aegis on the EG side, and you've got no buybacks. The only way you can try and defend is to throw your lives away, and then EG just come right back at you. Arteezy completed Abyssal Blade, and look, anybody wants someone else to chains, don't connect, but they still commit the haunt. Driving onto PPD, this could be a dieback of the Crystal Maiden for whatever that's worth. But everybody else making it back. They, they, they now to have it how, how drawing is. MVP away from this, and QO is going to get silenced. They're going to swap in the Spirit Bear of all things, just so Dubu can get off a stun. Forever almost dying instantly to Arteezy, who already used this Abyssal Blade, but now they've got them on the run. No buyback on the Ember Spirit. He's down and out for the count, and frantically they beam themselves back to safety. But now they've blown the haunt. They fight, but they couldn't just settle for a Crystal Maiden kill. He didn't even bother going for PPD. He had vision, but went for the bigger, higher priority targets. Didn't work out, and now MVP are absolutely up against it. As Arteezy jumps in again. Zubu there with the swap. Arteezy lets out his frustration on the Vengeful Spirit, and she won't stand against it long. Now a second melee rack, almost guaranteed to drop here for the side. A dagger coming in, but do they follow this up? PPD's low. MP being forced back, though, and MP trying to get to work here, and Artor might be able to kill off the Ursa. That could be pretty nice for them. They silence QO though, preventing the Slight of Fist. And he will, in the end, drop, but already the melee has fallen. They need more kills. Justin Ursa's not enough for two lanes of Rex, but the Ghosts are returning, bringing two male back. Ursa's the distraction. He's not even the important hero. It's the lone druid and the DP who are the, the key heroes chase, right though. now for EG. They're chasing. Remnant forward. He's going to find two here. QO with the big hedge and MP rejoining oh, the fight. Oh, what a TP. Two males out. But he gets away. Only fear going Radiant down. Tower. 
is under Great attack. Great savage roll TP. Okay. This could be big. They're gonna have to BOT in the Ember Spirit looking for their first pickoff. But Fear gets the kickoff and it connects on three. Huge one there from the old man. Gets the silence yes. off, dropping the magnetize into Sumail. Starts to press forward. Four heroes affected by it. Afflicted even. And QO having just BOT'd in. Doesn't have a great way out. Down he goes. No buyback there in the Ember Spirit. In the trees as well. Your Ben has been entangled. Thrown up in the air. Pounded back down onto the earth. Two more crucial deaths with no buybacks. And meanwhile, mid's getting shoved in by Arteez. He stills the cheese. A little midnight snack here for the Ursa. And it looks like any second now, we'll see another kill. A big jump in, lying down. 4M trying to get work done. He's going to double defuse him just before the Ghost Scepter, and then pops a second. Securing the kill, an immediate buyback from 4M. But it's, it's, it's just too much. The damage is overwhelming. The advantage, ridiculous. Arteez pops the cheese. He laughs at MP's face. He'll make short work of him here. This Korean squad has come a long way, but EG get the best of them in game one. One last buyback for whatever it's worth. Very little in the end. EG has their number from start to finish. And MVP find themselves trailing a one in the best of three. EG just had such a scary timing this game. When you hit that Lone Droid Radiance with Death Prophet Exism and you just go break the base, Ursa. Well, he doesn't, he's terrible at pushing himself as a hero. He's great for breaking high ground when you have other heroes that kill the building.